Alrighty, YouTube, what's going on? We got another reaction today, and as the title suggests, we got Thor, Love and Thunder, the uh, teaser trailer, actually. So, one that I've been really excited for. I really hate how Marvel drops trailers on Monday, because I record usually most of my content <laughs> on Sunday, uh, and some of the other days throughout the week, but... Yeah, they always drop it on Monday, but... Uh, do they really? Yeah, they do. Uh, as somebody who makes his content, fucking, I get annoyed every time. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, yeah. But uh, a movie we've been really excited for for a while. I know me and you, we've been excited for Doctor Strange, obviously, coming up, obviously, uh, in what, like, less than two weeks now, yeah. uh, which is crazy. But the other movie, we were kind of like Thor. Like, it's like, what, isn't it supposed to come out soon? Like, where's, the, like, all the content? Well, we finally got something, so... Yeah. What did they say? July? Yeah, July. Yeah, early July. Early July, yeah. So, like, what's your, like, what were your, what's been your thoughts, like, moving into this movie, obviously, when it was announced, like, like, to now? Well, it's gotta be good, because this is the only Marvel movie where a superhero gets its fourth film. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really rare, right? So, it's just right, yeah, pretty, yeah, yeah. pretty, pretty good. And I was hearing Chris Hemsworth kind of potentially takes a back seat in this to, like, Jane Foster, I was hearing. Yeah, back seat, and I hear Guardians of the Galaxy are in it. Yeah, so I guess Chris Hemsworth's still around. He was an OG. Like, yeah. He's still around. Eh? That's crazy. Yeah. Surprised he's still down to keep doing it. But I guess like, what else does he have to do? I guess. Absolutely. <laughs> I want to be a superhero my whole life too. No, I don't. No kidding. I don't know. Um, yeah, just one I've been interested for a lot. Like I think, like I think the Thor one was the one almost low key that I was most looking forward to. I think because. You know, I still remember watching the original Thor in theaters um, yeah. back, what, 2009 maybe? 2008. 2008. Okay. 2008. Jesus Christ. And, wow. And even I love Natalie Portman as well. She played uh, Padme in Star Wars. So, obviously, uh, she's uh, very much of a, a, a crush uh, growing up. So, <laughs> obviously. So, yeah, excited to see this teaser. Uh, it's not the official trailer, but uh, I don't like to see too much when it comes to Marvel. I already like how Doctor Strange is going, where they're not showing too much. Where Spider-Man showed way too much, in my opinion. So, oh, you think? Yeah, it's just like, you know, it kind of like ruined some parts. You mean the trailer, the trailer? Yeah, the trailers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too much TV spots. But excited for this trailer. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't want to waste any time. Let's do it raw. Watch it all the way through. His hands were once used for battle. <laughs> now they're but humble tools for peace. <laughs> It's fucking my king. Jesus Christ. <laughs> exactly who I am. Okay. Guns and Roses, love it. Oh yeah. Oh, the fat Thor. <laughs> I will choose my own path. Live in the moment. Oh, the Guardians of the Galaxy's in it. Yeah, man. I should be here in Oh yeah, okay, I remember that. <laughs> That looks sick. New Oh, yeah, new Asmus. Very good. Yes. <laughs> Chris Fratt, man. Me. What? Just listening. I love the crossover to this. Wait, that's it? Please tell me that's her. Yeah! Let's go! Oh, holy shit, man. Yo, I like that. I like that. Keep the suspense a little bit. Okay. It's good, eh? Damn. Because I was like, yo, are they like really not going to show her the entire fucking time? It shows her. I mean, like, oh, what, what's the explanation between how she could have those powers? Like, no. Clue. There's no explanation yet? No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Because she was just chilling on Earth, right? During... She was just a human. Yeah. But oh. I guess it could be like a. Like a... Backstory about her, right? So and we don't know if she disappeared during the blip, right? We don't know that, do we? She did. She did disappear. Okay. She did. She okay. Did disappear. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't honestly. I like. I think like what they do is teasers. They just they throw so much shit at you. Like literally, like we're near the end, and they'll just throw like, oh, transition. Boom, boom, boom. Like it's like, uh, mm. and uh, that's what they kind of do. I feel like yeah. Like and, and in the beginning with like kind of as a boy, maybe they're kind of touching on his origin, maybe a little bit, like as a kid in childhood, like. Maybe. I just really hope uh, it's good. What would you give that, like, in terms of, like, a trailer rating? Like, I'd give it a 10, like, in terms of it being a teaser and all. Uh, what I'm really, I really hope they, well, I'm sure they'll release another trailer, but. For sure. Yeah. I want to see the villain. Mm. Which is played by Christian Bale. Yeah, oh, yes, yes. Or the God Butcher. I'm really upset they didn't show him yet, but I'm sure they will. I'm exactly. curious what they made him look like. Yeah, because we don't have any pictures yet at all. No, so. we don't have any, like, 
what his outfit is and everything. Well, you know Christian Bale's a knockout of the park. You know how he is. Christian Bale is... If he can play Bruce Banner really well, he can play Gore the God Butcher really well. Oh, 100%. The guy's and he's a, a villain, too, in this, so I'm just... Which is a little different. Yeah. Um, but I think he's just such a good actor. That he can... One of us. Like, when he played, like, Batman, like, just being able to, you know, like, be that rich kid, like, you know what I mean? And then also be, like, Batman at the same time, like, kind of be able to see, like, that That was hard to harness, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like he's going to kill it for sure. And everybody's joining the MCU. Is that like a thing now? Like, just everybody's joining it? Like, yeah. Yeah? It's good to be in. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. Probably would give it, for being the first trailer, a 7.9. No, okay. 7.9. 7. 7. 9. Okay, I'll top that. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I think okay. it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it was good. I think, uh, personally, I think the Doctor Strange teaser originally was better, which was the post credit scene. For um, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Uh, I think that was better. But, uh, I think it's just two totally different movies in my opinion, but yeah, I'm excited for Thor. Uh, guys, let us know down below what you thought of the teaser. Did you see anything that we missed? Um, are you excited for the movie? Obviously, which one, which movie are you most excited for this year from Marvel? Is it either, uh, Black Panther 2, which eventually we're going to get something with that, uh, Thor or Doctor Strange, which comes out soon. Just let us know, uh, down below as well. And, um... Don't forget, obviously, if you enjoyed the reaction, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that postgation bell down below as well. You'll be notified for eventually uh, when I cover more stuff to do with Thor, Love, and Thunder and stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be an exciting summer, man. Honestly, I'm, I'm, like, excited, dude. Like, i got tons of shit coming out, man. Like, like on, I think, like, as soon as end of May hits, like, we're in for a ride. And, like, it's going to be awesome. I could have sworn they were going to release this after Doctor Strange. Maybe, I guess, they, they moved it around, I guess. Maybe. Anyways, guys. Thank you all for tuning in if you made it this far. Uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.